The year's best and one of the prominent meteor shower has become active since last few days and is going to reach its peak on December 13th and 14th. This year it is going to be the best chance to see this meteor shower because the peak of this meteor shower is on the next day of the new moon. So the sky will be pretty much dark and the moon will be in its waxing crescent phase. Plus the ZHR value of this meteor shower is more than 120 meteors per hour under dark skies. So I hope that by this information you must have got an idea that of which meteor shower I am talking about. Yes, I am talking about none other than but the Gemini's meteor shower that will peak on December 13th and 14th. So in this video today, I am going to discuss in detail about Gemini's meteor shower, how we can see it, what is the best date, what is the best time, in which direction we have to see, how to find out the dark skies for Gemini's meteor shower, plus how we can track the radiant of this Gemini's meteor shower with the help of stargazing application by just using our smartphone. So this video is going to be much informative, so I request you all to please watch the whole video and don't skip any point so that you will get complete information about everything in detail. So without wasting much time, let's begin our today's video. So let's first see the best date to see this Gemini's meteor shower. So every meteor shower has a certain active duration during which it remains active and in this active duration there is a peak time when we can see maximum number of meteors. So the Gemini's meteor shower remains active from November 20 up to December 24th. And in this active duration the Gemini's meteor shower peaks on December 13th and 14th. So the best date to see this Gemini's meteor shower is on December 13th and 14th. We can still see this Gemini's meteor shower on the rest of the days during its active duration. But when we see the Gemini's meteor shower in the sky during its peak time that is on December 13th and 14th, the chances of seeing bright fireballs and meteors increases. Okay, So again I am repeating the best date to see this Gemini's meteor shower is on December 13th and 14th. Now let's see the timing and the direction in which we have to see this Gemini's meteor shower. So every particular meteor shower has a certain point in the night sky from where all the meteors will originate. We might see the meteors anywhere in any direction in the night sky, but these meteors will originate from a specific point in the night sky and this point is called radiant in astronomy. This radiant is lying in a particular constellation of a particular meteor shower and this constellation is the parent constellation of the meteor shower. Let's say if I talk about the Perseus meteor shower, then the radiant of this Perseus meteor shower is in the Perseus constellation. Likewise, the radiant of this Gemini's meteor shower is in the Gemini constellation. So we have to wait until the Gemini constellation rises at a good height in the night sky and once it has risen at a good height then after we can start our observation. So currently the Gemini constellation rises in the east direction after 8 o'clock in the night sky. Okay, So we can start our observation after 9 or let's say after 9.30 pm in the night sky. This Gemini constellation will be in the uh, I mean it will rise in the eastward direction then it will move in the northeast then north and finally it will be in the northwest direction so the direction to see this Gemini's meteor shower will be from east up to northwest see this is not fixed we can see meteors anywhere in the night sky and it is not always necessary to wait until the radiant has risen I mean the parent constellation of the uh, meteor shower has risen in the night sky we can see the meteor shower or we can start our observation before the radiant has risen but to see some of the best number of meteors and fireballs it is advised that when the radiant is at a good height we can see some of the best number of meteors okay so once again i'm repeating the timing to see this gemini's meteor shower is after nine o'clock okay because the radiant will rise after eight o'clock in the night sky in the eastward direction the direction to see this gemini's is from east up to northwest okay that is the path of the gemini constellation and uh, as I said earlier that the base date is on December 13th and 14th. Now let's see the ZHR value of this Gemini's meteor shower and how to find out the dark skies. So every meteor shower has a ZHR value. This ZHR means zenithal hourly rate. That means when the radiant of the particular meteor shower will be at its zenith or you can say at its maximum altitude in the night sky, then how many meteors will be visible. So the ZHR of this Gemini's meteor shower is more than 120 meteors per hour under dark skies. Dark skies mean let's say bottle 1 to bottle 3 skies. Okay, so that are the dark skies. So if you are under dark skies, you can definitely see near about 60 to 80 meteors per hour. Okay, because our uh, let's say field of view will be uh, limited. Okay, we cannot see in all the directions at the same time. So if you are looking towards the radiant, then the chances of getting, I mean, the chances of seeing the fireballs and meteors will increase. 
okay so uh, the uh, let's say it will not be like that you will be see more than uh, you will be able to see more than 120 meteors because we can uh, see in the sky top particular uh, uh, in the particular field of view okay okay so it will be limited to us okay so it will not be like more than 120 but uh, let's say if we look at the radian then nearly we can see about 60 to 80 meteors per hour under dark skies now let's see how to find out the dark skies so light pollution is a problem for astrophotographers as well as amateur astronomers to see any astronomical event as you might be knowing so this light pollution is measured in terms of bottle scale and this bottle scale is a nine level numeric scale that runs from bottle one to bottle nine on the screen you can see this image and you can see that different bottles are shown bottle one here indicates the darkest while bottle nine indicates the heavily light polluted skies so as we move from bottle one to bottle nine the light pollution increases so for this meteor shower and other astrophotography events we need to be under bottle one up to bottle four skies to get a good view of the astronomical events and to click some of the best images okay you can still uh, see some of the events like conjunctions and other things from bottle five and beyond but for let's say meteor shower and for uh, better astrophotography it is advised to go under dark skies okay so that is uh, very clear for you so how we can find out the bottle scale of our location so for that we need to take help of this light pollution map uh, you can see here that i have already made a detailed video on this uh, and i have uploaded that video just few days back on this channel only you can find the video uh, the link to this video is given in the description as well as in the i button over here in that video i have discussed in detail that how to find out the bottle scale of our location with the help of light pollution map and also how we can find out the dark skies near our surrounding by using the same light pollution map okay so once again i am repeating the best date is 13th and 14th december timing is after 9 o'clock up to the early morning because the gemini constellation will be in the night sky throughout the night then direction is from east to northwest and the zhr is more than 120 and the bottle skies let's say dark skies that are bottle one to bottle four okay even up to bottle five in some cases if the sky is pretty clear okay so this was about the complete observation part now let's see how to track the radiant of this Gemini's meteor shower by using the stargazing application on screen you can see some of the stargazing application that i've shown you can use any of them all these applications are available on play store and the link to this application is also given in the description so today i will be using the sky tuned application you can see over here for tracking the radiant and i will show you that how to track it and before beginning with that i just want to advise you that uh, when i will uh, shift to the uh, let's say stargazing application please shift the orientation of your phone because some of the features of this uh, stargazing application called sky tonight are not uh, working in the i mean they are not available not working but they are not available in the landscape mode so whenever you are also using this sky tonight application please keep your phone in the portrait mode only and then after you can use that application okay so let's see how to track the radiant by using the stargazing application of this Gemini's meteor shower so friends you can see on screen that i opened this sky tonight application and you can see that the user interface of this application looks something like this you can see the different uh, constellations and stars that are visible in different direction and you can scroll the star map of this application by using your fingers okay you can see over here that as i am scrolling it the star map is moving okay so first thing after opening the application is that we have to set our location on the topmost side you can see that the calendar and timing is shown and on bottom side some of the options are shown so first we have to move to menu so for that we have to click on the uh, bottom right side option that is the first option from right side in the bottom okay after that we have to move towards settings then general settings and then location okay so i've already set my location so i will not set it again but you can see that three uh, different methods are shown over here first is the auto detect method that is use device location the second is by setting the name of your let's say city country or something okay you can see that a list of all the cities are given as well as, well as the states okay the third option is by setting the coordinates that is the lat long and the time zone also okay so uh, three different methods are that you can use any one of them i mostly use this search by name option because it is very easy to find out the name of the country or let's say state so once you have done it just come back to the main uh, let's say interface okay we don't have to do any other change 
now you can see on the top most side that the date and timing are different okay so i will show you that even when the peak is not there how we can find out the radiant of this gemlets that in which direction it will rise and how we can track it so it is very e it will be very easy for us to spot this gemini constellation in the night sky when we are observing the gemlets meteor shower during its peak time okay so first thing is that we have to change the date and time so i will just change the date on 13th of december okay you can see over here that i have set the date on 13th of december and i will change the timing at about 8 o'clock because i said that uh, after 8 o'clock the gemini constellation will rise in the east direction okay just let me do it fast as fast as i can okay so uh, this is how you have to change the date and time and uh, we can just uh, see yes you can see that after 6 o'clock the sky has got dark and the star map has also shifted to dark that means it is night now okay so just uh, yes i have set the date of 13 december and the timing of 8 pm uh, okay so now we have to search for geminids so for that we have to click on this compass like option uh, sorry not compass but magnifying glass like option in the uh, bottom side from left side okay so and then we have to search for geminids so you can see over here that uh, after searching you can see that meteor shower radiant is shown in the first part that is the geminids so just we can click on it and then we have to click on this blue color option that will show the location of geminids in the application now we have find out the location of the geminids radiant in the application but we have not yet find out in the night sky we can get to know that it is in between northeast and east direction but it is much closer to northeast and you can see uh, when you will scroll on it that you can see the overall part of this geminid you can see that at 9 o'clock it will be at this point okay just minute okay let me just click on it again okay so you can see that at 9 o'clock it will be at this path 10 then 10 11 then midnight and it will finally in the north west okay so this is how the gemini i mean the geminids meteor shower i mean the radiant of geminids will move now how we can find out the geminids uh, radiant in the night sky even when it is not peak so for that we have to click on this compass option as soon as we will click on this compass option the star map in this application will shift in the direction in which our phone is facing so i don't know in which direction my phone is currently facing so i will click on this compass like option you can see this blue colored option so as soon as you will click on it you can see that the star map has changed in the direction in which my phone is facing so when you go on terrace just uh, uh, first find out first set your location then find out geminids in this application and then click on this compass like option you can see over here that the star map has shifted so i will slightly move my phone in such a way that it will point towards the geminids okay just let me see uh, once again okay so this is geminids in the application you can see over here so i'm again clicking on this compass like option and you can see that a uh, pointer is shown that is indicating the location of geminids in the star map so as you will move your phone you can see that the star map is also moving and you, now you can see that i align my phone in the direction of geminids so you just have to do this in the same way okay and it will be very helpful for us so now you have to just scroll on this time bar you can, and you can see as you will move your phone you will be able to see that uh, how this geminids is moving you can see over here okay make sure you have to click on that compass like option and you can see that in which direction it will move and where it will go so this is how it will move okay so this is how we have to find out the radiant of this geminids meteor shower and i hope that you must have got a idea that how to track this radiant of this geminids meteor shower so this was about geminids meteor shower so if you have like this video then please like and share it ahead and please share it with your friends so that they can also watch this geminids meteor shower and i will also upload a detailed video on how to photograph this geminids meteor shower with our smartphone uh, in a later time okay so please stay tuned for that video and just enjoy uh, sky gazing and uh, please see this geminids meteor shower thank you for watching